Hello, my friends. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing good. I hope you're ready for another YouTube video from your old buddy, Dadcraft73. We're back here playing some Direwolf 20 1.12 modded Minecraft. And man, we are having such a fun time playing. That is for sure and for certain. Man, we are deep, deep into the world of Batania, and we are not leaving today. We've got some things to do. we got some things to take care of. That's for sure. It's going to be awesome. So between the episodes, I spent a little bit of time, and I dug out like a little cave. And we're going to have to do some uh, messing around with the entrance here. But this is what I've got so far. Just a little cave, and we're going to do some stuff inside here today. But I thought, it would, you know, I need a little bit more room, and I thought, you know what? It might be kind of cool to have like a little cave in this sandstone mountain right there. I love that. Okay. But let's get let's get to work. We have some things that we need to take care of today. Namely, we have to make some flowers like we did I guess in yesterday's episode, we made some flowers. But today, and we sort of touched on this at the end of yesterday's episode, we're going to make this flower called a hopper hawk. And it's a functional flower and essentially what it does is it vacuums up items that are on the ground, but it's got some ways that we can sort of configure it to do some cool stuff so let's get in here and see if we can't make this so we need some redstone root I think we already have one but I need two of these flowers let's see redstone root yeah I have one of those okay and we're gonna need some petals so we need uh, gray and light gray okay so there's light gray Okay, we're going to need two of these plants and then um, light gray. So those were gray. Let's get two of those, right? Light, oh no. And gray. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's convert these guys into petals. So we're going to need four of these petals and we're going to need four of these petals. Okay. Now the other thing we need to do to make a hopper hawk, let's take a look real quick, is we need a rune. And that is a rune of air. And to make a rune of air, we need string, feather, white carpet. Okay. So string, we can get. Yes. Feather. Yes. And do we have some wool? Uh, no. How much string do we have? We have a good bit. Okay. So let's take these guys and we just need, is it just two pieces of carpet to make wool? I think to make a, a carpet yeah okay so there's that we just need one of those okay let's go back in here and make sure we have everything else we need we're good no not that kind of hopper hawk this guy so we also need mana steel and mana powder so mana powder we still have let's get some iron we're gonna need one two of those uh, yeah we're actually going to need three of those. We're going to need some gold nuggets. So we're going to need one, two, three of three golden nuggets. And we're going to need some glass. Okay? Just one piece. All right, let's take a look and make sure we have all of our stuff that we need before we go back over here. So two gray, two light gray, two redstone roots. So we're going to make two of these plants. And then rune of air, that, 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 and gives me two okay perfect I think that should give us everything that we need okay uh, let us also bring some coal do we have some coal uh, yeah we can bring a stack with us that's what we want to do yeah and let's temporarily put back our actually you know what we don't need coal what we need are some drones so let's grab ourselves I don't know, a couple stacks of drones. <laughs> That'll work. Let's grind up these bees. Okay, so let's go over to the sphere, and we've got to make a couple things. So let's get down in here. So first of all, we want to throw some drones in here and have them start doing their deal. And then we also want to throw these guys and this in here. Okay. And now let's see if we can't make this rune of air. So let's get some stuff out of, off our bar. So we need one of these. Did I lose one of these? Look at that. Dang thing. All right, here, go. 
There we go. That's what we need. Okay. So we're going to put one of these, one of these, one of these, one of these, and one of these on here. You see it's doing a steel. Oh, did I put my living wood away? i got to go get that real quick. I ha still haven't fixed my exit. Out. <laughs> uh, oh, my goodness. Go up. I, haven't still, I still haven't fixed the exit to get out of this sphere, but we'll do that. Uh, we'll try to get that done today if we have time. we got to do a little bit of work, though, before we can have fun and start doing some decoration type stuff. Okay, living rock. Uh, we just need, like, probably just one piece, I think. Okay. All right, so now let's go back over here. This thing should be ready to go. We have our wand of the forest ready. Okay. Let's get this. Is it ready? Yeah. So we click this on here, right? And then we click it like this, and we get our rune of air. Okay? Oh, man. Dang it. I always forget stuff. Okay. We need some seeds, too. If we're going to make some flowers, we need seeds for the petal apothecary, and we need a bucket. Do we have a bucket? Yeah, we have buckets in our inventory. Not a problem. Okay. So let's get ourselves seeds, too. Will work perfectly. All right. And then let's get back over here and do what we got to do. Okay. So we need a bucket. And we got to get some water and put it in here. Okay. And then you go away. All right. So in this guy, we need one of these. We need two of these. We need two of these, and we need one of these. Yep, and then we just need to throw in a seed. Yep, okay, there's our hopper hawk, awesome. And let's go get this and put, why does it keep doing that all the, every time? You go in there. And then if we right click and go like that, then we can make two of them. So we've got two hopper hawks now. Okay. So while we're in here, let's make another thing. And it's called the Mana Seer's Monocle. So if you don't know what this is, I'll, we'll show you in just a second. But it's just a mana glass, mana steel, some gold nuggets. Um, and you get one of these guys. And if you put this on your face, like this. Is it a bobble? Oh, it is a bobble. Okay. We just put it in there. And now, when we look at stuff... Right, we can see, we can see things. So let me take you out here, and I'll show you. So can I see any of this stuff? I think, yeah. Okay. So if I look at this end of flame, see that purple square on the ground? That's the radius that it will, or the dimensions of the box that it will pick up items from. So if I drop a piece of coal way back here, it'll actually pick it up. Right, so that's what that Mana Seer's monocle does. It gives us like a visual representation of the range that these plants and stuff work. Uh, the other thing that I've changed, and I don't know, I'm actually recording this the same day that um, I recorded the setup of this environment. It's been a couple hours later, but or this system. It's been a couple hours later, so I haven't seen the comments yet. But this, uh, the flowers that you put down, so if we put down our jaded amaranthus down on the ground, it doesn't need a mana spreader to deliver it mana. It just links to a nearby pool. So you don't need to have a mana spreader to do that. You just need to have it in the vicinity of the pool. So it can it can pull what it needs to from it, right? Okay, so hopper hawk time. All right, so if I go and put this guy up here, okay? Can I put... Oh, it has to be planted, I guess. Hmm. All right, I guess it doesn't matter where we plant it. Okay, we plant it right here. So if I mouse over this guy, it tells us the range that it will use to pick up items. See that? I mean, it's huge. The Hopper Hawk range is monster. And it actually might be too big for our uses, but uh, there's a way actually... And we should... Let's actually... Let's shrink it down. We don't need it to be that big. We just have these three endo flames. So if you take a Hopper Hawk and you throw it in... I want just one of these to be small. You throw it into a mana pool like this. Oh, maybe that doesn't work. Maybe there's not enough mana in there. Let's go over here and do it to this one. I don't know how much mana it needs. There's like a miniature version, a petite version of it that we can use. So just throw it in there. Let me see. 
What's to make it? Oh, you need the alchemy catalyst to make him small. Hmm. How can we make one of those? Brew stand, living rock, man of pearl. Yeah, we could probably make one. Let's do that real quick. We gotta sleep through the night anyway. So let's make ourselves a mana catalyst. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> yeah, we gotta fix this. I can't be going in and out of here every two seconds. Man, is it time to sleep through the night already? Good grief. Okay. Let's do that. One of these days I'll get around to putting the mailbox back up and checking my mail. Okay, so let's go and get... First of all, we need an Ender Pearl. Just one is all we need. One Ender Pearl. And what is the catalyst? What does we need to make it? We need some brewing stands. Can we make these? One, two. Okay, yeah, we can. All right, we'll take those with us. And then it's just some gold. So let's grab some gold out of here. One, two. Okay, and then Living Rock. Let's go ahead and take all of this. By the way, I should craft like... There. Craft some. Start. Okay, you do your thing. You do you, Living Rock creation deal. Is there some over there on the ground? Mm, I don't see any. Um, why are you not picking that up? Importer. Hmm. I don't know why it's not picking. These are all thing. Yeah. What? Huh. I don't know. We'll. I don't know. We'll figure that out. Maybe external storage would work there. I don't know. Let's not deal with that. I can make some more if I need to. Okay. So I need to take this Ender Pearl that I brought along with me, and I need to throw it in here. Okay. We get a Man of Pearl, and then we should be able to go over here and make the catalyst this guy right we can make it bang okay alchemy catalyst and then we want to just come over here underneath a pool I'll just stick it under there that way it's out of the way we don't have to worry about it put that back in there so now if i throw this hopper hawk in there i get a little baby right a petite version of it and really the only difference between the two is that the petite one has a smaller range right which is exactly what we want so let's put this guy down yeah see how the range is much smaller because that's all we really need we just need it to cover this area right here and we don't necessarily want it to pick anything else up but we also don't want it to pick up any of these flowers we just want it to essentially pick up coal so we have to go and get one more thing which we seem to be running back and forth a lot i gotta get a wireless setup i'm gonna try to do that next episode for sure me an item frame like this and then I need some coal like uh, this. Here, let's just get a stack. That's good for now. And then we'll figure out how we're going to make it so we can add more coal to the setup. Okay, so we're going to go over here. And if you take your wand and you click on this guy, it says right now, picks up only items contained in frames. And that's exactly what we want it to do. So we're going to take this. We're going to put this on here like this. I'm going to put a, put a piece of coal in the frame. Okay. So now, if I do this, okay, that's burning. Okay, this should pick it up. Yes. Oh, I don't want to pick it up, no. Okay, let's take this out of here. We may have to do something else real quick here. This guy may... Oh, let's see, I can't remember. I thought it could pick and put it up as long as it was, was in its sphere of influence here. Hmm. Let me see if this works. So if I throw this down, will it pick it up? No, but that guy did. Okay, let's see what the range of these guys are. Is it outside? So if I put it over here, yeah, it shouldn't pick it up then. Now the hopper hawk should pick it up. Yes? This guy's set to be... Pick up any items. 
pick up only items in frame. Maybe it won't let me put it inside this. Hmm. Okay. So how do I fix that so it's not like that? Let me just let me try this. Let me put a chest down here. Okay. Let me grab this off here. Oh no! Dang it! That is not what I wanted to do. Okay. So now if I put this frame back on here and I put this on there and I drop this. Does it have to be adjacent? Maybe. Okay. Well, let's do this. Put this guy right here. Okay. Has to be a... Oh, no. Oh, okay, yeah. So it has to be adjacent. Okay, that's not a problem. All right, let's break this stuff up. Not, not an issue whatsoever. So all we have to do is we have to take this guy. We should. Let's see if this actually works. Uh, let's see. We'll put this guy here. Can I put an item frame here on this guy still? Let me see. And put this in here. And can I plant my flower here still? Okay. Okay. So it should pick it up on the ground. Now if I throw this down like over here. I don't think it likes putting stuff in there. Dang it. Okay, well, not a problem still. How can we do this? I have a plan. I have a plan. Okay. Alright, we just have to get this thing set, and then we'll have to do the same thing for the other Hopper Hawk. I know this is taking a long time, but you know, we want to make sure that we do it the right way. Let's see. So if I make... Do I have an item? I have these lasers. I don't care about those. I need an item transfer node. This. Can I just make this? Okay, I need a chest. One of these, uh, like this, and we'll do like that. Okay, item transfer node. Just We just need one. That's all we really need. One. And do I have around here somewhere an anvil? I don't think so. Anvil. Can I make an anvil? Can I make three of these? One, two, three. Okay. Now I can make an anvil. Perfect. Okay. And then if I take this uh, in the crafting frame and put... Clear out these guys. Put this in here like so and this guy like that. We get these little guys. Okay. Perfect. That's all I need. All right. Now, if I go back out here... Okay. And I break this. Oh, dang thing. What was that sand? I don't know what that was. <laughs> okay, so what we want to do is let's put let's put a chest on top of this guy. All right, we can use gold. Why not? All right, we'll break this thing. And then we're going to put one of these guys here. Okay? Yeah. And then we're going to put this back. Okay? And then we need to get our rotator, our... Um, Crescent hammer. Let's get that. And then let's just go down here a little bit so we can see. There. Okay. Want that to be facing down. Now, whatever we put in here should go through and drop through. Yep. And it'll just sit there until it gets used. Okay. Perfect. Now, if we take our pieces of dirt and we put this like that okay and we put our item frame back on here okay let me put this here and we put our hopper hawk back in 
the petite one. I put that guy there. Okay. Connected the mana pool. Okay. And now, if I put this guy down here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So it picks up what's ever on the ground, right? So if I throw a bunch of stuff down here on the ground, right, it's going to pick those up. The hopper hawk will. If it's in range. Okay, yeah, that's the that's the graphic for the hopper hawk. So let's see, let's let's try this. Let's put a bunch of this coal in here, so it goes all crazy and drops a whole bunch down until it gets full. And now you see it's the hopper hawk picking it up, right? So the hopper hawk is picking up. It delays for a few seconds, and then the hopper hawk picks it up and it puts it right back in here. So if we look at this, right? So there's fifty because there's none that's needed to burn. See? Working like a dream. Okay. So what's the, here's the cool thing. We can essentially do the same deal but with a chest for all the drops from this guy. And if we use a big hopper hawk like one of these, like if I put this thing out here, look at the range that it has. Right? Huge range. So it'll pick up all the flowers. Look, it's monster. I mean, it's ridiculous because it's actually pulling power from this mana pool. So if we mouse over it with this, so essentially it'll pick up everything. So what we want to do is we need another chest. Let's go grab one quick. We need to sleep through the night on anyway. JD's online. Let's say hey to him. Hey. Okay. And then we'll sleep through the night. We need another chest. We should make it a gold one, I guess. Okay. Let's go down here and make a chest. Chest. Uh, we want to make a gold one. Okay, we have to make iron first. Let's do that. And then we'll make gold. Gold makes me feel kind of like, you know, like Batania kind of thing. All right, let's get to an item frame. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing with this other Hopper Hawk. Yeah, boy. Okay, I just need to make sure... I think I might need to convert this guy to petite as well. Let's do that. I think it's too big because I don't want to. I want to make sure it doesn't pick up anything inside the sphere, and I sort of want to limit the range of it. I don't want it to. It doesn't need to be going all crazy. All right, and then we can throw this guy in here, and it makes it a little baby one. And then we can stand on here, and we should be able to fly straight up out. Yeah. Okay. And we'll come back, and we'll place this guy on the ground like here and then oh that's not a very big range are you on that thing it is I need it to be somewhere in between all right let's see it's not gonna need that much that much coal because Can I convert it back? Oh no, I can't. Oh, dang it. That makes me grumpy. I thought I could convert them back and forth between the two. Well, let's see. What we can do here. Because I really need to have a chest. So if I put this thing like right here in the middle, it doesn't give me a very big range. That's for sure. Is it connected to the mana pool? It is, but that's not a very big range. Right? That's not going to be enough. Because I'm going to have flowers all over the place. I guess I just need to make a big one again. Okay. So let me go off camera. Let me make another one of these big things. I need to make another rune of air. I'll make another big hopper hawk. You know, it feels like we're doing a little bit of testing on this video. But that's exactly what we're doing. We're trying to get it to work. I know that I want hopper hawks to do the deal. And it's working over here like a dream. It's taking care of business. This guy's doing whatever he needs to do. If these guys don't pick them up in time. So we need to do the same thing with all the flowers. And then once we get that, we're going to have this thing set up and ready to go. And then we just need to provide some storage for them, some stuff like that. And we should be all set. All right, let's go and see Hopper Hawk. So the big one. Okay. Two gray, two light gray, redstone root. Okay, redstone root. 
Okay, let me go off camera and get these crafted, get this other hopper hawk crafted, and then I'll bring you back, we'll get it set up, we'll turn on our flower producing farm, and we'll watch the magic happen. I'll see you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends, we are back. I think everything's working, right? Hopper Hawk over here is working like a dream. I've got this guy set up to only pick up items not in frames. So if it's in a frame, which that guy is over there, it should never pick up that coal. You can see it's not in there, okay? So the last thing we need to do is put our hourglass over top of this, and we need to put this in there, okay? And one piece of soul sand will make it last a minute. So it should be working. Yeah, it's working. All right, now we just have to watch the magic. Uh, one thing that's interesting is if we look at our um, jaded amaranthus, look, there's the range of it. We could actually extend our little farm out one block. The other thing we could do is probably break it and put it right here. That might be better. Yeah. Now, it'll plant all the way back as far as here. But it'll, it'll stay essentially within those confines. So that's perfect. So now we just have to wait for our soul sand to wear out, which is almost done. And then that thing should pulse. And it should break a bunch of flowers. And they should all show up in this chest. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's almost ready. It's going to happen any second now. Look at our hourglass over there. Yeah. And then the hopper hawk should take over. <laughs> and if we look right here, all the flowers work like a dream. And it didn't break them all, but that's okay. It will eventually. Okay, so now we need to do some more stuff. So we need to go under here. And we need to get like that. And we need to go... Is this going to break anything that we care about? Yes. That's okay. So let's go like this. All right, and that should run over there. So now we've got like a tunnel underneath there, right? And we can take this and, nope, this. This thing may have picked up some junk. Yeah, it did. That's understandable. All right, and then we can cover these, this one back up, okay? Yep, okay. Now we just need to get some, uh, some conduit, some pipes, some item transfer items, duck things. All right, let's go, let's go over here and build a couple things. So we need a drawer controller. It's the first thing we want. So drawer controller. Drawer controller. All right, let's make one of these. So we need two of these. Uh, can we just make these? No, we need redstone torches. That's okay. We can make some of those for sure. Uh, that should be plenty. All right, we need two redstone torches, one or comparators. And then we should be able to make it. Oh, we need a drawer. Do we not have a drawer of some type? There, basic drawer. Bang. Drawer controller. Okay, now we need to make some drawers as well. And we want to make, I think, I think probably the two by two drawers is going to be planned. I mean, that's eight stacks of flowers per drawer. That's an insane amount is what that is. And we can always put an upgrade on it if we want to. Okay, let's make some chests. And let's make, I don't know. There, that's good. And do I have birch? Yeah. Let's make some birch planks. Okay. And we need... Okay. Drawer now. We want to make some of these birch ones. Two by twos. These. Alright. And we just need four. That's all we need. Alright. And we have a drawer controller. Yeah. Okay. That's good. And now we need some item ducks. And do we don't need anything too fancy. These are fine. And we're going to need a servo. All right, and we can get a reinforced one. Why not? Okay. Now, let's go hook all this up, and we're going to have this thing complete. Let's sleep through the night. I don't know what JD's working on, man. He's probably making some kind of crazy bee-related video, taking care of business. We're instead being sidetracked by the world of botany, but that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. Not botany, botania. I guess it is botany. Okay, so we're going to put this guy here in a hole. Uh, let's put this piece of cobble in there. Okay, and then we're just going to run cable all the way down. All right, and I think what I want to do is bring this... Maybe where can we put our drawers? Put our drawers here. 
here on this wall, like maybe right here. Will that work? One, two, three, four. Yeah, this could be our little like uh, botany like work area. Okay, and then we're gonna hang a left, or I guess a right. Okay, and how many blocks? One, two, three. Okay, one more, and then we should be able to. We can fit, we'll fix all that stuff back up again. Okay, and then I should be able to do something simple, like put my drawer controller right there. Okay? Yeah? I think so. Yeah. And let's bring our conduit around. Okay. Oh my, I'm stuck in here forever. Okay, is that working? All right, we just now have to activate our our deal here. Here, let's use this so we don't go like all haywire. Okay, we gotta put our servo in, and we want to turn this thing to be always active. Okay, and then we can put this back. So we can have flowers planted on top of there. That's what we want. All right, are we seeing flowers showing up in the drawer? Yeah, they are. <laughs> And there should be 16 different flavors, right? Perfect. That is working like a dream. Man, that was super loud, that banging sound right in my ear. Okay, so we need to get this, and we need to sort of go... Whoops, no, this. And this, this, and... Nope, not that. I should have a piece of... Two pieces of that. Perfect. Now, we have a closed system. Okay? Works like a dream. All right, so that thing is growing flowers. And eventually, the pool, like this thing is out of coal now, right? So eventually, this thing's going to run out. I mean, it doesn't take that much, thankfully. It takes just a little tiny, tiny bit of mana to run all three of these flowers and the drum. But eventually, this thing is going to get uh, empty. And I think that's fine. Because by the time it gets empty, I mean, we have tons and tons of flowers. We actually need to go over and do one more thing. Before we try to maybe move on to fight, figuring out a door for our sphere, how we're going to get in and out of that thing, and then that'll be a good episode, I think. So, see, do I have void upgrades? How do I make a void upgrade? Uh, can I make some of these? Drawer. I have one drawer left. Okay. Uh, let's make some more drawers. These should work. There. Okay, perfect. And let's do void upgrade. We need to make some of these blank guys right like that. Okay, drawer. Perfect. Like that. And then we'll throw all that stuff in here. And then to make a void upgrade, we should just be able to go one, two, three, four. Perfect. Okay. Um, how do I get out of here? <laughs> I'm all I'm all backwards. Okay, so this will make sure that we only store eight stacks. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Look, go Hopper Hawk. Picked all those up. That's a dream right there. I don't care who you are. And we'll put void upgrades on all these, right? That way they can just hold. I mean, it's eight stacks of flowers. So eight stacks of flowers. That's sixteen stacks of petals of all colors. That's going to be plenty. And then this thing should hopefully just naturally kind of shut itself down. We'll keep an eye on it for sure. Okay, so I need to go off camera, get my inventory all squared away, get everything cleaned up. And then we're going to come back and figure out how we can make a cool door to get in and out of this thing. I want to do something kind of neat, if possible. So let me figure that out. I'll see you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends, we are back. I think I have a plan. Let's make some sneaky blocks. How about those? Those should work pretty good. So just some of these right here. We need some dwindle cream. Can we make some dwindle cream? We can. Yeah. And then we should be able to make eight of these without any trouble. All right. And then we just need some red glass. Let's get some of that. Let's move some things around here. I didn't really clean up my inventory, did I? I was looking at stuff, trying to figure it out. Okay. Let's sleep through the night. And then when it's daytime, let's see if we can't go over here and install these crazy sneaky blocks. So I was thinking, how do we want to go in and out of this thing? I mean, I guess what's what what really do we want to do? Do we want to fly in and out? I mean, we could, 
I mean, it's not the same as kind of going... You know what we could do? How about we do this? How about we go right here? Right? And we get our... Get our thing. Man, we need some more sneaky blocks, don't we? We want, we want nine of them. Ah, let's go make a couple more, just so we have the right number. If we're going to do it, we might as well do it the right way. Okay. So let's go and do sneaky. Very sneaky. No. Sneaky block this. Need to make a dwindle cream. Done. And then sneaky block. Then we'll have 16 of these bad boys. Okay, that should be more than enough. We only need nine. And we're going to knock out some of... Here, let's do this. Let's see, can we exchange? Let's see. Nope, won't let me do that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to try to use my cheaty exchanger. Okay, so let's get this right here. And we will go like this, 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 this. All nine of these. Okay. And then we'll put sneaky blocks in place of those instead. All right, and now what they should do is they should let us pass through. Oh, man, does that not work that way? <laughs> oh, I thought that's what Sneaky Blocks did. Use. Oh, we need this, right? These, it's, this does not have a collision box allowing entities to move through it. You can click on it with another block. And it, okay, so that's what we want. We So we need to make some wool here in a minute. Okay, sorry. I thought I knew what I was doing. That is obviously not true, as you guys already know. Okay. Do I have 16? Okay, so I need to make some wool. Let's go downstairs real quick, and then we need some string. Let's get rid of this. And we're going to need 16 wool. So... Okay. And we go like that. Now, we should be able to take these and go like this and get sneaky false blocks. That's what we want. Okay. So let's go back up here. And then we'll put these in here, like so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, and then we should be able to take these guys like this and click. Yep. Okay. This looks like regular glass, but we should be able to go. They look a little funny, but not too bad. I mean, from the outside, they don't look that bad that bad. You can kind of see like some lines there, but I guess technically you can see them anywhere. And we can just fly right through. That's how we'll get in here. I mean, we have flight, we might as well use it. Oh. <laughs> if we hit the arrow the right way. So essentially we got to aim for this butt, this guy right here in the middle. There we go. So there's an easy way in and out, and now we can go up here and we can close this thing off and not have to worry about it anymore. So as long as we can fly, we can just fly ourselves right through the blocks like that. Awesome. All right, let's go, before we end this episode, let's just go make sure everything's still working the way that we expect it to here. Is this guy getting ready to pulse? Yeah, let's check and see. Oh, yeah, we're raking him in. Let's watch it do its thing one more time, because I love it. All right, come on. Oh, it's almost ready. Boom. Oh, it's awesome. Oh, man, I still got my monocle on. Man, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. Until next time, please remember to be cool, don't be a fool, and from my Direwolf 20 1.12 mod mod Minecraft series, that's what we're playing, Minecraft, we got Hopper Hawks picking up flowers, putting them in storage drawers, and we're sneaking through spheres. I guess we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.